guys, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Tingle Talks. Uh, we're currently videoing those uh, in like monsoon type winds, so hopefully you can hear this and it doesn't sound too bad. But the goal of the video today is talking all about testing soil particles, uh, to figure out what percentages of sand, silt, and clay you have in your soil. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what that is, why we do it, and then lastly, how. So, first thing, testing soil particles. Uh, like I said, you're just trying to figure out what percentages of sand, silt, and clay you have in your soil. And why that's important is it kind of categorizes what you have and then lets you know the quality of it. So there are different categories of soil. There's clay, there's clay loams, there's silt loams, and all those have different principles that are either good or bad for farming, building, etc. And these tests today are going to show you how to figure out what you have. So uh, there are three tests that you can do. The first one is called a ribbon test, the second one is called a jar test, and the last one is the soil triangle. To start with the ribbon test, that is also known as a field test. This is really easy. Uh, you do it when you walk out in the field. You don't need any special materials, just some soil and some water, and I'll show you what you do. First thing is, you just reach down, you're just going to grab you a handful of soil about like this. Next, you take you some water, and you're just going to spray that soil and get it really nice and damp. Now this soil, like I said the other day, it's got, uh, we just tilled this garden up so there's a lot of organic material in here. You're just going to spray it up and the goal is to see if you can make it form into a ball. That's step one. Get it wet and form it into a little mud ball. Alright, once you have it into a mud ball, I'm going to stick it in my right hand. You want to try to see if it sticks together. First, if it sticks together, you have a high percentage of either silt or clay in the soil. If this is all sand, it's just going to fall apart, and I'll show you an example of that here in the top corner. So, this ball stays together, so it's got silt and clay in it, so that's good. The next thing is, you're going to try to make a ribbon out of it, and I'm not an expert at this, but the moral of the story is, you're going to take the ball, stick it between your index finger and your thumb, and you're going to try to push it out like so. If that soil sticks together, kind of like you see there, and starts to form a ribbon, uh, that means you have a presence of clay. Uh, if it just falls straight apart, it's silt because those molecules don't stick together, but the clay does. So just by looking at this, the test is a little skewed because there's roots in here holding this together, uh, but there's a good mixture of both um, silt and clay in this soil. Now the good news is, is that ribbon is not going on for miles and miles and miles, and if you could see right there, it'd probably break naturally, but there's some roots holding it, and that's good because the longer that ribbon is, the more clay you have, and like we talked the other day, uh, the more clay you have, that's not always a good thing. So that's the first test, the ribbon test or the field test. Take you a soil sample, get it wet, make it into a ball. If it makes a ball, go on to the next parts uh, and see if it makes a ribbon. If it makes a ribbon, you have clay and silt. Uh, if it doesn't, it's just sand or just silt or something else. So that's the first test. The second test is called the jar test. Uh, all you need is a jar about like this and a soil sample. So to get this soil sample, uh, I'm going to use a tool right here that's called a soil probe. That was a quick one, I almost lost it. Uh, it's a pretty technologically sound device, it's just a tube uh, with a hole in it. All you do is you're going to walk out in your garden like you can see over here, step it in the ground, and then just push down. And I'll demonstrate here in a second. Now you don't have to have this, you could also use a shovel or something else, but what it does, it gets you a nice, uh, pretty deep profile of the soil, and you can use it there. After that, what you'll do is take your uh, your soil sample and your jar, and all you need is some extra water. You're going to take the soil sample, put it in the jar, put the lid on it, add some water to it, and then you're going to shake it vigorously and shake and shake and shake and shake and shake until you get all those particles broken down. You don't have any big chunks of soil left. After you have that, it should look like a chocolate milkshake, and then you're just going to sit on the table and leave it there uh, for at least 24 hours or so. And what it'll do after that is all that soil and sediment will settle. The sand is the heaviest, so it's going to settle to the bottom first. Next will be the silt. Uh, it'll settle on top of the sand. And then lastly, those clay molecules are so small, they're going to stay suspended in the water for a while, and they won't fall out to the very end, and so the clay is going to be, on, uh, it's clay is going to be the last. So, after you let it set for a day or so, you can come back and look at it like we have here, and it'll show you those three independent uh, mineral particles and what percentage you have of them. So, if you look at our jar, uh, it was the bulk of it was silt, it's all in the little, or all in the middle. You see very little sand and you see very little clay on top, and more clay would keep falling out. You can see it there in the water, it just hasn't yet. So, now that you've done the jar test, you can see right there how much sand, silt, and clay you have. But if you want to take it a step further and get really precise, you can go on to the third type, which is the soil triangle. So, the way the soil triangle take, uh, works 
is you use the exact percentages of sand, silt, and clay, and then you follow this chart and this graph down until it gets you the actual category. So if you look at our jar here, uh, I'm gonna start with the silt because that is the highest percentage. You go to the side of the triangle that says silt, and I'm gonna say that's probably a good 90% silt. So you'll go all the way down to where you see the 90, and track over. Next, if you look at the top, there's just like a hair bit of clay. We'll say it's uh, five or 10%. So you come over and you go from there, and then lastly there is very little sand in this soil. Um, and so you kind of go over to where uh, somewhere between zero and 10% sand, and then cross all three of those in the middle. And for ours, we're gonna end up with a silk classification. So what that means is, uh, is it's bulkly silk, uh, there's very little clay, very little sand, and that's the end category. So again, a really quick video uh, on how to test for soil particles. What you're doing if you're trying to determine what percentage of sand, silt, and clay you have. Uh, that is really important uh, so you know the quality of the soil, how, uh, how to amend it if you need to, what you can plant in it, what you can do with it. And lastly, the three ways to test it are the ribbon test, uh, the jar test, and the soil triangle. Uh, thank you again. Stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye.